guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're going over the upgrades I've done so far on my 2023 Ram 1500. And as most of you guys probably know by now, this is my all new 2023 Ram 1500 Bighorn with the Night Edition. I've had it for a few months now, it's been about two or three months, and I've loved just about every moment of it. We've made a couple videos of it so far, going over the pricing, going over the things I like, going over the things I don't like. We've also done a full review video and a video on the exhaust. That's gonna be mentioned here too because that is considered one of the upgrades I've made on this truck so far. You can probably see a couple of the upgrades right now just visually, but again, I will go over all of that. Speaking of the muffler, that was the first upgrade I did on this 2023 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Hopefully you checked out that video with the exhaust sounds, but we will play an exhaust clip towards the end of this video if you haven't heard it so far. But the exhaust is a Flowmaster Super 10 muffler installed by Outlet Tires, Brakes, and Mufflers in Newport, Ritchie, Florida. The total price after taxes and installation was 350 bucks. So it's a little bit pricey, but considering that a direct replacement Flowmaster muffler, which would have still cost about two, 300 bucks to install, was $300 on both Amazon and any truck website that you would look one up on. So I figured 350 for the total job was a great deal and I wouldn't mind shouting them out for it. And speaking of shouting out, Sherry from Coverado Seat Covers is kind enough to sponsor this video and send a pair of their rear seat covers made by their partner Truck Epa or Truck Double IPA. Not quite sure exactly how you pronounce the brand. I'll leave a link right here, show you a picture of their logo and leave a link to their website too. And of course, huge thanks to Sherry from Coverado for sending the seat covers over. So as far as the seat covers, they're only for the rear seats. Hopefully we get something sent over, maybe a little bit nicer for the front, but for the rear seats, this is perfect because we have a dog and the seats here are cloth or fabric and she can easily poke through the fabric with her nails. So it's really nice to get some protection for the rear seats. However, usually we don't put the dog on the seats anyway. If the um, dog's back here, she usually sleeps on this bed over here, but sometimes we have a ton of stuff on the floor, put some stuff underneath the guys. You see we have the kayak paddles there right now. Sometimes we have the beach chairs, softball stuff, baseball stuff, soccer stuff, whatnot. But if we do need to have some stuff on the floor, we leave the seats down and this is perfect amount of protection for the dog. The installation took me about 20 minutes. I didn't make a video about the installation, but it comes with headrests. They tie up from behind the seat and they attach to themselves from the bottom and the crease. And it also goes underneath all the way through here. The fit and finish is about a seven, eight out of 10, but it does cover all the cloth and it gives you all the protection you could possibly need for the rear seats. So they sent these over for free of cost. And again, huge thanks to them, but the regular price for these rear seat covers is about $60. I'll leave a link in this description below. Anyway though, as you see, the truck's holding up really well. The rear seats or the front seats look super clean. We get some bungee cords in the pockets, air vents back here, USB A and C ports. We got the beach chairs, dog bed. It's kind of a mess back here, but I'm just showing you guys the seat covers. Continuing along, after the seat covers got sent to me, I finally did a bed liner installation as well. So the bed liner was installed by Linex in Hudson, Florida. It was $660. That is the price for their basic standard bed liner. However, as you see, we have a pretty decent amount of sparkles and a much thicker coat compared to a standard bed liner. That's because Linux and Hudson was kind enough to give me their more premium bed liner free of cost. We get the warranty in the lower left corner that you simply wouldn't get from the standard bed liner. At least that's what they told me. Lord knows what they actually installed. They said they gave me a more premium bed liner free of cost in exchange for a shout out. It's a really nice bed liner. 660 bucks is definitely pricey, but it gives me exactly what I need. Ton of protection. I can throw stuff back here, the kayaks, and it doesn't get scratched up at all. A couple days after the bed liner was installed, I purchased this retractable tunnel cover. It's made by Synetic USA. It costs about 850 bucks before tax. I paid 909 after tax and shipping. This is their MR series retractable tunnel cover. So no, it's not the electric retractable. I wouldn't really need that anyway, but this is perfect for what I need. I was really only looking at retractable tunnel covers because hard trifolds are running to six, 700 bucks anyway. So I figured I'd spend an extra two, $300 and get something that could give me full access while still using my rear view mirror. And as you see, this is a super high quality retractable tunnel cover. I'm not sure if you guys remember my dad's or if I even made a video on my dad's. He has the Gator Tracks retractable tunnel cover. It's over a thousand dollars brand new. And this has more weather stripping. As you see, it sticks out quite a bit out rear and it runs all throughout the top part of this bed area. We also have additional weather stripping over here in the corner. Hopefully you guys can pick it up on camera. The overall tunnel cover, it slides very smoothly too. It comes with two locks and this is a love it or hate it. 
thing for me because my dad's has one lock so all you would have to do is this and simply push and open the tunnel cover with this one yes it gives you more protection but you have to walk over to the other side of the truck and slide it open completely and i put a decent amount of lubricant over here on these rails so it slides super smoothly we get four sets of drain plugs my dad's gator tracks only gets two sets over in both of the front corners and i just did a car wash here on this truck as you see it's nice and clean this is one of the first videos i've been able to do of this truck with relatively okay amount of sunlight and as you see there's not even a drop of water in here at all awesome it is a little bit dirty we just had kayaks in here as you see i got my men's softball equipment over in the right corner that's about as heavy of a load we've done so far the kayaks and the softball equipment actually that's not true i delivered my buddy three recliners in this truck only two of them fit in the tailgate or bed area and i was able to fit a third one in the back seat area to shut this tunnel cover you can either hop out front and slide it with your hands you can also lock this tunnel cover in any position you can lock it out back so when i move the kayaks we just slide them towards the back of this bed area and with the retractable tunnel cover i still have full use of my rear view mirror if you want to lock the tunnel cover in this location you can as you see it doesn't move back and forth at all there's a little bit of wiggle but you can't slide it back or forth if you don't want to use those handles to shut the tunnel cover they gave us a rope so you just grab the rope pull the tunnel cover back it's not the easiest to do with one hand but we figure it out shut it right up cool and it gave us two sets of keys so if you happen to lose it it gives us a spare and the same key of course works for both locks we have a cover for the locks too shut it right up. and as you see Synetic USA and although it says Synetic USA this cover is made in China just a heads up but my dad's Gator Tracks which is also supposed to be an American company also made in China overall though guys the tunnel cover and bed liner the bed liner makes the truck a lot more useful a lot more durable the tunnel cover makes you look both a lot more premium and keeps everything both hidden secure and almost completely waterproof as you mentioned went through the car wash and as you saw it was completely dry the final upgrade that you can say is a major one for this 2023 ram are these running boards or bed steps whatever you like to call them they're sold by sman now it's an amazon company they're made out of carbon steel and they're powder coated with what looks like the same material as a bed liner material so it should be extremely durable we'll see if they're as durable as factory running boards but compared to factory running boards either the chrome or the blacked out ones i think these look significantly better so they were 209 dollars i believe 220 after taxes and delivery they're sold by amazon with prime and i think they look a lot better than they would if i got the factory running boards we'll see how the durability is as we mentioned and the big reason why i went with these running boards compared to just regular bed steps is this little centerpiece how it sticks up about five six inches and it allows you to have a lot more easy access towards the roof like right now my head is a good foot above the roof and that just simply wouldn't be the case if i just had regular bed steps so the logo for the sman wow sman out whatever you like to call them running boards are outlined in red and it appears like it has my name in the corner i know it doesn't but it does look like that is the case and speaking of the red lettering i also got some red lettering for the hemi and e-torque badges over here i got white lettering for the 1500 so it had like the red white and blue theme but i personally thought that it looked a little bit tacky when i actually did put it together but the hemi looks a lot better because with the night edition we get these black plaques so you don't really see the hemi i'll show you what it looks like from the factory the only color scheme we had on this plaque was the e-torque so the e-torque stuck out quite a bit making it look like it could have been technically a six cylinder truck because the six cylinder truck has the exact same look just without the hemi but with this nine edition package you couldn't really see the hemi anyway so who knew that it was even there so i got these red stickers for the hemi i got the red stickers for the e-torque too but i actually kind of like the look with the blue e and the red torque these stickers are from reflective concepts they are a mopar genuine product and they look really good the fitment is about an eight eight and a half out of ten and the reason i say that is because you can see a little bit of the blue sticking out from the e-torque i'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera but i'm really close right now you take half a step back and you can no longer see it so i got it to look like that for both sides of the hood i'll take a step over here on the other side so you can pick it up looks the exact same fitment is pretty good i also got stickers up front because with the night edition package the entire front end is blacked out too so you couldn't really see the ram badge pop out very far so i got these white outline stickers and i think this looks a lot sharper so i'll take a step back show you guys one more little walk around of this 2023 ram 1500 bighorn 
And for the most part, I'm pretty much done with the upgrades on this truck. We got the running boards, we got stickers, we got the muffler, tunnel cover, and the bed liner. And outside of maybe bigger tires and a lift kit, I can't think of anything that I would want to do to this truck. And we got at least 30, 40,000 miles until these tires wear out, and that's when I'm going to cross that bridge. We'll take one more step back, look at the side profile of this truck. Super clean. We finally were able to get a video with at least some type of sunlight on this truck. Every time we record a video on this truck, a storm is coming right up. But as you mentioned, I told you I would fire up this 2023 Ram 5.7 liter Hemi with the Flowmaster Super 10 series muffler. So let's do exactly that and hear how she sounds. Hi guys, so that was the sound of the Ram 1500, the Flowmaster Super 10 series muffler. It sounds awesome. And if you check out the exhaust video, you'd know that although it sounds really good, it doesn't sound too obnoxiously loud on the inside, which is exactly what I was going for. One upgrade that I forgot to mention to you guys, it's very small, it was like $9. I got these carbon fiber stickers for the plastic part of these foot plates just to get a little bit of extra protection so I don't crack or scratch or do anything to the plastic. I think it looks pretty cool as well. I got it for the front and I got it for the rear. Hopefully you can pick it up on camera. It says Ram 1500. It's just a sticker, but I like the quality of the carbon fiber and a little bit of added protection. That's about it though, guys, when it comes to the upgrades. So starting with the muffler, that was the first thing I did with this truck. I got it about five, six days after I made the final purchase. It's the Flowmaster Super 10. I got it at Outlet Tires, Brakes, and Mufflers in Newport Ritchie, Florida for 350 bucks. The seat covers were free. Thank you so much to Sherry from Coverado and Truck IPA, Truck IPA, Double IPA, whatever it's called, for helping me get the seat covers. The bed liner was $660. Shout out Linex and Hudson for hooking me up with a higher quality bed liner. $909 for the retractable tunnel cover from Synetic USA. It's their MR series tunnel cover. Again, $909. And the quality is top notch, I think even better than what you get from Gator Tracks. The running boards, man wow, Sam Wow, Sman How, whatever you call them. They're an Amazon brand, super high quality. Would definitely recommend getting those for your Ram 1500 too. Those are 220 bucks, 20 bucks for the stickers. Totals me out at 2100 and about $59 for the total price when it comes to upgrades. And as I mentioned, I'm just about done for now. Once we hit 40-ish, maybe 50,000 miles, I'll probably upgrade the tires once they wear out. And if they don't fit, I'll probably end up doing a lift kit too. But other than that, I'm just about done with upgrades. Maybe a cold air intake, but from what I've read for the Ram 1500s, it doesn't really add a whole lot of noise for that induction note. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. This is the truck that's how it's sitting after about three months of ownership. I'll keep you updated. We'll do a one year update. We'll do a 10,000 mile update. So stay tuned. But as of right now, we're at about 2,150 miles and at about $2,150 invested into this truck when it comes to upgrades. So I'll probably take it easy for a little while. Again, that's about it though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you guys so much. You know the channel is just not possible without you, and I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out. The YouTube algorithm, that's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you want to see reviewed on this channel, and I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.